There are so many places across eastern North Carolina to celebrate the 4th of July, which means our roads are going to be busy with both locals and visitors traveling over the next couple of days or so. Now to your sides, Aaron Jenkins is in the studio with us. Erin, you spoke with the State Highway Patrol today. What are some of their tips? Well, some of the main things are just those basic things that we all know about to make sure you're obeying the rules of the road and also not speeding. Several people will be hitting the roads to go to our coast, especially this weekend. Those roads are expected to be especially busy. State Highway Patrol troopers say to make sure you're being patient. You should slow down and also increase your following distance to make sure you and others make it to your celebration safely. And maybe one of the most important pieces of advice. If you are planning to drink as part of your fourth celebrations, make sure you don't get behind the wheel. You're not only risking your life, but you're risking unfortunate lives of other motors that you pass on the highways. We just really want to discourage anyone from doing that, and there's really no excuse for it nowadays. You know, you've got services such as ride share, a designated driver, or if you're at a gathering where there's going to be alcohol, that host needs to make plans to prepare to get their guest back to their location safely. Now, another thing to keep in mind is to watch out for pedestrians when you're driving. And if you are planning to walk somewhere, make sure you do it in a well lit area so that drivers can see you. The Highway Patrol says they will have all available troopers out on the road to help make sure everyone has a fun and also a safe 4th of July. In the studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you.